This is the second video in the Selecting a Rack PDU series. This video discusses details about configuration options and which factors will impact what rack PDUs are best for your data center. When deploying PDUs, consider the following options. What kind of power do you currently have? Single or three phase? How much power do you need? How much power will your current servers and storage devices draw? What types of plugs do you have? How much room do you need for the future? Will you add more devices to the racks? Will you need more power in the future? In many companies, some of the answers to these questions will come from facility groups, while the other answers will come from IT groups. When deploying PDUs, facilities and IT departments must clearly communicate capacity, needs, wants, and future plans. The answer to the question of how much power will your current servers and storage devices draw is to add up the amp draw on all equipment that will be plugged into the PDU. You then have the total amp draw for that PDU. The amp draw information can be gathered several ways. Equipment manufacturers provide a nameplate or faceplate power ratings. These ratings are often calculated for a worst case scenario. In reality, actual day-to-day -day power draw is often much less. Some IT departments take faceplate ratings and scale down from 20% to 40% when factoring in power. When you use faceplate power, you can over-provision a data center, wasting valuable power and cooling resources. Most manufacturers offer a power sizing tool or capacity planning tool for true power measurement. Check with your IT equipment manufacturer when calculating your amperage draw. Intelligent rack PDUs that monitor actual power consumption of servers in your current environment can be a valuable source for calculating amperage draw of new servers. Monitoring power at the outlets also has many additional benefits. Today's IT departments are being tasked to reduce power consumption. Since it is impossible to control what cannot be measured, power monitoring on a PDU outlet level is a great way to see how much power is being drawn at the server or device level. Power monitoring can be done on a whole PDU level, individual outlets level, and even for groups of outlets. Many servers and switches have multiple power supplies and the ability to aggregate data from all of the power sources is important. PDUs that allow you to create power groups show you the power draw information for devices with multiple power supplies. By being able to chart the exact power usage of all of your devices, you can compare various servers and easily identify older, less efficient servers. Having the ability to chart power usage by rack allows you to locate where you have the electrical capacity to add additional servers. With the high power electrical draw of some blade servers and other devices, some racks are only half full in terms of physical space. Trying to add devices to half full racks that don't have sufficient power capacity will trip circuit breakers and shut down the existing equipment in that rack. The other side of that situation is just because a rack is two-thirds full doesn't mean it doesn't have enough power for more equipment. These are just two of many reasons why being able to chart actual power draw over an extended period of time is a very valuable capability. Besides monitoring power consumption, some rack PDUs allow for remote power management. Would you like to be able to reboot stuck servers without having to visit the data center? Power outlet cycling is ideal for data centers without 24-hour staff coverage or devices deployed in remote locations, such as a wiring closet or off-site hosting. The ability to schedule power off per outlet allows you to easily enforce IT power policies, such as requiring that all non-production servers be turned off after 6 p.m. Another benefit of remote power management is that you can control what is on or off. Just because a PDU has open outlets doesn't mean that those outlets have to be on. You can turn off outlets and prevent people from drawing power by plugging in unauthorized equipment. This will prevent circuit breakers from tripping the rack PDU when people unknowingly try to overload the circuit. Some intelligent rack PDUs also perform environmental monitoring. 
With temperature and humidity monitoring, you can identify hot and cold spots in the data center or within the rack. By identifying cold spots where overcooling is taking place, we can safely raise the temperature on our crack units. If space is available on the rack, we know that we can add additional servers to that rack. By locating our hot zones in the data center, we can see where additional cooling needs to be provided and prevent costly downtime and damage to our equipment. By having sensors on the front and back of racks, we can receive alerts as to the effectiveness of cooling airflow and whether adjustments need to be made within the configuration of the equipment in the rack. With a combination of power controlled outlets and temperature probes, the user has the ability to set multiple temperature thresholds and physically turn off an outlet or outlets in a temperature emergency. The business case for investing in intelligent PDUs focuses on the realization that overcooling and overprovisioning of a data center can cost thousands of dollars a month and is harmful to the environment. With rising cooling and power costs, the ability to monitor and control your power usage helps promote a cost-effective and greener data center. Future growth of your data center is important when selecting a PDU. How much room do you need to leave open in order to add additional servers or devices for that PDU? In this example, 15 servers draw a total of 21 amps from a 30 amp PDU that has a U.S. regulatory rating of 24 amps. This almost maxes out the capacity of the PDU, leaving little room for expansion. In example 2, the server rack is supplied power from a 60 amp PDU that has a U.S. regulatory rating of 48 amps. It holds our original 15 servers drawing 21 amps. We have added an additional 7 servers that are drawing 9 amps. The total power draw for this rack is 30 amps from our 48 amp PDU. This larger PDU supports our original deployment. We were able to add additional devices and still have room for future growth. When putting together your PDU solution, there can be several different yet correct solutions that work for you. The solution you choose to implement will be determined on what power the data center has access to. Example 1 shows a solution deploying three-phase PDUs. This example uses fewer power drops, fewer breakers on the power panel, and takes up less room in the rack. Example 2 shows a facility that cannot provide three-phase power. This solution requires more power drops and will take up more breakers on the breaker panel. In addition, this solution takes up additional room on our rack. Example 1 clearly shows that the three-phase power is more efficient in the data center with more power delivered more efficiently. However, both solutions have your servers up and running. It is just a matter of what your facilities department can provide to your data center. Remember that effective communication between the IT and facilities department will ensure that there are no unpleasant surprises when it comes to deploying your new PDUs. Make sure you know the following. What kind of power does your data center have access to? Single or three phase? What kind of plug types do you have in your data center? How much power will your equipment draw? How much room is needed for the future growth of your data center? What kind of features do you want? Power monitoring? Power outlet cycling? environmental temperature and humidity controls. Now that you know what to ask and what features to look for in a PDU, you can start the process of narrowing down a specific model that meets your needs. Please view the next video, which is the Rack PDU Configurations video. This video applies the details discussed in the first two video and shows that the information is used in creating the best Rack PDU solutions for your data center.